After dealing with a surge of COVID patients late last year, the Jamestown Regional Medical Center has no inpatients with the virus right now. However, some patients have returned for treatment because of lingering issues from the virus. Reporter Julie Martin spoke with emergency department doctors about the long-term effects. Of the 45 COVID patients admitted to the Jamestown Regional Medical Center in November, five returned with post-COVID complications. Although COVID patient rooms are empty, emergency medical staff are busy caring for patients needing aftercare related to the coronavirus. They're dealing with pulmonary issues or cardio, um, cardiac issues as a result of having to deal with COVID. In the emergency department, doctors are ordering more blood work. There has been an increase in uptick of, uh, of blood clots in the legs and lungs. In other departments, patients who haven't contracted the virus are having lasting effects on their health as well. So initially, we did see some patients that were delaying their screening exams like mammograms. Doctors speculate patients were canceling appointments over safety concerns in the hospital. We have had numerous instances where folks have come in and it's been, been good that they've had the courage to come in and get those screening exams. Morning. Doctors say the number of patients coming into the ED hasn't slowed down and they are preparing for a potential second wave of COVID infections. I was suspect in the next month or two we'll probably see an uptick in virus cases. This time, doctors say they are ready. We're definitely more prepared than we are were in, in November. As they carry on throughout the day, not knowing what will come next, these health care workers are ready to face any challenge. In the peak period of caring for COVID-19 patients, the Jamestown Regional Medical Center had 8 to 10 patients a day when it hit maximum capacity in November. And the North Dakota Department of Health said seven new cases were spotted in Stutzman County today. Up next on Valley News Live at 6, why now is the right time for the Biden administration to push for agenda priorities.